Welcome back to IGN Live at Comic-Con. Now, between movies like A Quiet Place, Get Out, and Hereditary, a, the horror film genre is in the middle of a renaissance like we've never seen before. Very true, but let's be honest, there is nothing scarier than the classics, and that's why the reinvention of the Halloween film franchise hitting theaters this October already has us terrified. With us right now are Jamie Lee Curtis and David Gordon Green, the star and the director of Halloween. And writer. And writer, wow. along with Jamie McBride. Yeah. Uh, now, this is this is a really this is a really exciting movie. Like I'm I'm fascinated about this, uh, Jamie. This is your fifth Halloween movie you're appearing in. You know what? <clears throat> Season Honestly, of the Witch. You did a voice or the the way to think of this is that there was the original movie, and then this movie because all of the subsequent movies that have come out in the past are just have been somewhat separated by David and Danny to be able to focus on a 40 year anniversary movie. Which um, is which is awesome like that's in itself is like very like much a, a fresh start and then at the same time it's from the writers and directors of pineapple express and your highness <laughs> like, what, the, what is this Who movie else? come on like this sounds this sounds like it like i don't know mad libs or something it's a it's a wonderful sort of science experiment but uh can you talk a little bit about i think there's a keyword that uh was used in an interview about this and it's simplicity right uh, yeah yeah uh danny mcbride and jeff radley and myself co-wrote the movie we went to film school together. We've been studying films from, you know, strange medieval comedic movies to horror films. And, and when the idea uh, came to me from, or Jason Blum came to me with the idea of, of doing a reinvention of this property, it was just, we all got together and we were immediately freshmen in film school geeking out in our dorm rooms again and came up with the dream idea of uh, convincing Jamie to come back and, uh, and bring Laurie Strode back to Haddonfield. Jamie, why did you decide to come back? I mean, you look so epic. You're like a complete badass in the trailer. So why come back? Go. I'm, I'm assuming some training was involved as well. Well, sure. Yeah. I, you know, the thing that I think David's missing is, well, it's not missing, is you see John Carpenter was a film geek. Mm -hmm. And his best friends were uh, Nick Castle and Tommy Wallace, who were the original art director and the original shape in the original movie. These are people who are steeped in a understanding of film and storytelling. And the word simplicity, what happens is when you have a movie like Halloween and then there are myriad sequels, it gets more and more complicated and convoluted because you have all these people coming up with their story. It's not the original story. And what I love is that the simplicity of this new movie is we're back in Haddonfield and all that's happened is that 40 years has elapsed and Laurie Strode is the same girl without any mental health services who's been on her own, trying to convince everyone in the town that Michael Myers is coming back. And to the great detriment, it's the boy who cried wolf, if you will. Mm -hmm. But it's simple, it's clean, it's not, it's the same place, the same people, the same mindset, and yet you in, inject this terrifying force, someone who's now become bigger than life, which is Michael Myers, but it's Michael Myers back in a small town, and it's just terrifying what David has done. It's terrifying. Did you have to sort of unlearn any of the like character development from the previous sequels that are now out there? But the again, window? the previous sequels have zero relation to this movie. Right, but there I, was mean, the I mean the ones that you were in. But, it, but again, yeah. regardless yeah. of whether I was in them or not, they have no relevance to this movie. Okay, because so it's that movie 40 years ago and this movie. So there is no unlearning. The only thing that's happened is that Laurie Strode has been on the hunt saying this man is coming back this man is coming back and nobody believes her and sh they've taken her child from her she's lost her marriages she is a woman who's been traumatized like we are seeing so many women have been traumatized and are finally saying enough time is up or whatever me too you, we now have an opportunity for those women who've been traumatized to express themselves and this is Laurie Strode expressing herself in a very specific way. Yeah, we, we acknowledge the other films as like as rumors or things that people have talked about or different ways the conversation could have gone. So we and there's little Easter eggs for fans of of the other films. So we're not dismissing them entirely. We're just saying those weren't the facts of our universe. I love this. Uh, yeah. I'm a huge John Carpenter fan. He's doing the score for this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. It was fun. Uh, I spent last weekend in the studio with him, and it's just. Um, Pretty please, uh, John. What if we uh, tried this or that? You know, like it's a very interesting dynamic of of a director stepping into uh, one of his idols' careers and and collaborating with an art form that he 
has been so. And you know, he goes on the road. Yeah, he's yeah. been touring. And he's going to tour at, I think it's at the Palladium on Halloween night this year, 2018. Can you imagine? Oh, That's pretty that is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Is he having any input on the uh, the direction of the movie? Uh, he, he's been awesome. He was exec, an executive producer on the film, and um, we came to him with the idea originally. You know, we weren't going to go forward with it unless we got his blessing, and so it's it's read the script, gave us his thoughts, had us you know threw us some ideas for the opening that we embraced and thought were great, uh, shown him cuts, and now you know. I'm, I'm going to tell time. you something about John, which is it's interesting because it just popped in my mind. So the first day of shooting the original movie in 1978, the phone rang at my apartment I was living in with my friend Tina, and at the end of that first day, and she said, Jamie, it's John Carpenter. And I was like, oh, oh. I thought I was gonna be fired, because I had worked a day, and that happens a lot. And he picked up the phone, and in his southern drawl, just like my gentleman next to me, he was like, hey, darling, it's, J it's John. I just wanted to say that it was a great day. So that has never happened to me, ever again, it's so my first movie. Cut to, John saw a cut of this movie, and the only person who has called me, and I'm talking about the only person, and there are a lot of people who've seen this movie, the only person who called me was John Carpenter, and he said, hey, darling, it's John. I just want to tell you, you're amazing. Oh, and I rules. mean, that wow. is who he is. I, yeah, I mean. <laughs> He's a beautiful man. And uh, he, he is thrilled with this movie. That's wonderful that to hear. That speaks volumes for sure. Um, going from like a very serious, like epic answer there, we kind of have to play a silly game, right? Okay, yeah. So <laughs> this, I know, I'm like, so you just like brought down the house. I'm like, our producer just you know told what? us to do this game. You know what's game. so good? What? Is that I'm over uh, 50, like way, like I'm kissing 60, like so close. I'm like French kissing 60. I'm telling you, <laughs> let's see how well I do with this. Because boy, if you'd been in the social media department with me about eight minutes ago, didn't go well. <laughs> but let's boy. go. You're not missing much. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, this is this is goofy. Uh, the original the original Halloween, the, the Michael Myers mask, famously is a Captain Kirk mask painted white. Now I don't want to alarm you, but we have a modern reinvention of that. Oh, there you go, there you go. How do you but feel? It's not painted white, and his hair is. It still would just be, but it's the, only paper the, too, so the, it would just look like a paper mask. plate. We never even thought of that. You don't no, think it's frightening? That would have been good. Now that would have been, been, really been great. Really. A little, like, little like maybe for the maybe we, Yeah. I think it's. I think you're maybe going the, Chris the right Pine direction. Mask. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. But you have to remember the reason why it was a Captain Kirk mask is the movie was made in the spring of 1978. The spring. So if we were shooting in March, that means they were prepping in January. So they had to find pumpkins in March, in January, and they had to find a Halloween costume where they needed a human mask, rubber mask of a human, and there weren't that many. And one of the things that was there was a. Uh, William Shatner mask, which they basically spray painted white and took off all of the features, and that was the mask. It's one of Shatner's best roles. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Uh, oh. But we're, I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Mm. Dark. Okay. On wow. that note. Anyway, thank yeah. you so much for coming by. This. That like, was it. That was it. That was, was the it? silly game. That was, that was the, the silly it was game. A paper mask. Yeah. Painless, right? Wow. Magical and inspiring. Can you give it to way. the guy doing social media? Because uh, he really oh, needs oh. your paper mask. Watch out. Uh -oh. okay. Here she comes. We'll Sorry. give him a paper bag. We it was fun. As I'm getting, yeah, you're fantastic. You're lovely. Thank you Thank guys you so, so much. much. Yeah, Congratulations you on your success <laughs> with the Yay. show. Yay! I still uh. don't understand why we call it IGN. No one does. Yeah, it's yeah. A great mystery. Good. Don't worry about that. And by the way, my favorite game is Street Fighter. Yes. She at the Just beginning she goes, why? Who, what's the game with the Vega?" Well, well because like I fighter. went as Vega because I had to go He's great. but I had to have a character that had a mask cuz oh. I couldn't go to Evo with this mask. So I needed a mask. So then we figured out Vega was the only one with a mask. Hey. So I went as a go. female Vega. That's okay, awesome. that's like some of the coolest cause. Okay, I love that. I love that. We need photos of that. I have it. Okay. I may send it to you. Oh, okay. Well, on that note, thank you guys so Bye. much. And yes. Halloween is in theaters October 19th, yes, just in is. time for everyone's favorite holiday, National Pumpkin Cheesecake Day. Or Halloween, wow. I guess, right? Okay, that was cheesy. Coming up shortly, one of this winter's biggest movies is about John Cena having beef with the Volkswagen bug. Yes, that is literally the plot of Bumblebee. And IGN's live Comic-Con coverage continues after this. We'll be right back. This is live?